feet long. Yeah. And uh, it had one of those back windows that slanted in like yes. that. Yes. And you could push a button and it would go down. So we had this band out in California. It was my friend Mike's car. And my friend Mike, uh, we drive around, we had this band, and we, only, we were called the Incredibly Strung Out Band. <laughs> and it was me and Gerf Morlicks and uh, Victoria Williams. And, oh, yeah. and we had a sitar player named Tornado. <laughs> He'd actually studied with Ravi Shankar. Wow. But that didn't help, really, but <laughs> in this situation, because we were playing gigs. We only, what we would do is we'd pick up people on a night like this, and this is before house concerts, we'd pick them up in a, our car, we play you what you wanted to hear and drive you where you wanted to go. <laughs> Fan broke out. There wasn't a lot of money in there. <laughs> but it was a lot of fun. And then like on a night, some nights, you know. Come on now, hold on now. Colorado. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. What? It just yeah. happens all the time. What happens? Shows. It's dry here. Yeah. Oh, yeah, well, Everybody's yeah. tuning all the time. I didn't know what you meant by that. <laughs> Pretty dry. <laughs> Getting a little dry up there. It is kind of freaking out a little bit. Yeah, we're used poor to it, guitar, right? Every you know? show you go to, it's raining for days. Right. So here's the deal. And so we're driving around this car, and we got all these people, and then like we, we go, uh, hey, Mike, you can open up the patio tonight? And he goes, yeah, I guess so. And he pushed that button, and the window would go down, and the people would go out the back window and dance <laughs> on the trunk. <laughs> <laughs> So that's the story about, I'm about to launch into, about the old blue car, and uh, you know, the night I turned 30, I was 29 when that night began, obviously, <laughs> and, uh, and we were in Buffalo, New York, and I was with that guy, Mike, and we were in the old blue car, and we were on the top of the Buffalo Skyway, and we, the fuel gauge didn't work in the old blue car, so we were at the very top of the Buffalo Skyway, and I just talked Mike into driving to... Uh, Texas on my birthday, <laughs> which was going to cost like thousands of dollars because the car only got like five miles. <laughs> I don't know how we did it actually, but we uh, ran out of gas at the very top of the Buffalo Skyway. Um. But we were right over the hump, so we started coasting down the far side of it, and we coasted all the way to the bottom of it, and uh, we weren't really worried about it, just kind of looking out the window and wondering what was going to happen, and then uh, it's real quiet, you know, and then we... Uh, there's a gas station right at the bottom of the Skyway, so we just rolled right in there, rolled right up to the pump. <laughs> there was a guy there, and he goes, that's a quiet river. <laughs> <laughs> that's a Prius. <laughs> it's like, yeah, very clean runner, too. And, uh, this is the saw for that car, I'm like, uh, It's a heavenly blue, must be centuries old. But that steering wheel's made of solid gold. You don't even want to know how much it costs. Well, no matter where you drive it, you can't get lost. Well, we'll take a ride out to the stars. Gets me, but that old blue car will well, stay so clean. Keep your hands on the wheel, you'll be doing all right. Well, those headlamps come right through the darkest night. Well, sometimes it looks like we won't get far. Through the light of dawn, and there's bare 